A 15 year long 4,500 crore rupee project to develop an indigenous jet trainer has failed. The Indian Air Force has rejected the results of the program, forcing Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to admit that the aircraft is unflyable and unsafe. Headlines today access critical documents detailing the failure of this program. Here's an exclusive report. Four thousand five hundred crore rupees, fifteen years in development. The end result, nothing. What you're looking at is the latest Indian aircraft project to end in embarrassing failure. The Hindustan Jet Trainer, an indigenous aircraft that the Indian Air Force desperately needs to train its new pilots, has simply stalled. Mission, intermediate training of pilot cadets. On order, 85 aircraft. Deadline, December 2014. Status, too heavy, unsafe for crucial training maneuvers. Headlines today has accessed documents which contain Hindustan Aeronautics' first damning admission that its prized aircraft is simply unsafe and unfit to fly at this time. The documents released last month are the first formal admission that the aircraft program has failed, painting a grim picture as to the extent of this failure. On the 5th of August, Defence Minister Arun Jaitley even informed Parliament about the crisis. The HJT-36 program was India's most promising aircraft project, but has since run into serial trouble, with three accidents so far, including one crash. As it stands, the aircraft is too heavy for training and has failed fully to prove spin and stall recovery qualities crucial for safety. The implications are grave for the Air Force. Uh, IJT was to be the intermediate jet trainer, uh, but uh, the overall performance of this aircraft, unfortunately, is uh, very, very close to the Pilatus 7. Uh, we wanted an aircraft with much higher performance. It is certainly a very, very major blow for Indian Air Force because this plane has been in making for a very long time. It is already delayed by, if not couple, more than a couple of years. The aircraft was desperately needed to help ramp up flight safety to somehow lessen the speed of crashes. 19 fighter aircraft and 11 military helicopters have crashed in the last three years, killing 24 service personnel. Safer flight, just got more expensive and much more elusive. With bureau inputs in New Delhi, Shiv Arur for headlines today.